what's up you guys it's april and i know i have a friend with me in today's video she only gonna be here shortly because yeah so i wanted to show you guys how i styled the wig before i put it on my head a lot of people like to style the wigs while they're wearing them let me tell you something it takes a lot more time to style it while you're wearing it versus styling on a man your head so that's the reason why i really don't style a lot of my wigs on my head on camera because it's just so time consuming and i just hate sitting here and doing that and then having to speed through the video so that's the main reason why i don't do it. But definitely, you know what I'm saying, I do buy these from the beauty supply store. They're used. I mean, like, she is used. Uh, but it's like $9, $10. You know what I'm saying? You can buy them at, like, your local beauty supply stores. Not Sally's beauty supply store, okay? Not hers, okay? That's not a beauty supply store. That's just somewhere where you can go and get some things that you may need. Anyway, so yes, definitely if you are you have like one of those, you know, beauty supply stores in the hood, definitely ask them, hey, are you selling any of your model, your mannequin models? Because I would like to buy one or some. I have probably bought like 10 of them. Like I said, they're like 9 to $10, you know what I'm saying? I buy them all the time and I absolutely love them because if you buy them brand new, they're more expensive. So anyway, let's just get into this video. For the sake of this video, that's the reason why I have my friend here. We're going to call her Roxy for the video. She don't really have no name, but we're going to just call her Roxy for the video. So Roxy has on a unit that I have made using hair from All Run, which is an AliExpress vendor who has been on AliExpress since 1990. So that's really good because AliExpress is a long term thing, but sometimes vendors get kicked off because their hair be garbage. So $19.95 is like a minute away. So definitely check them out. They did send me their Virgin Brazilian body weight in two 18 inches and a 60 inch bundle with a 60 inch lace frontal. But I'll definitely put the links below for you guys so that you can check it out. But anyway, so anyway, okay. So I did make this unit. I did pre plug the hairline on it. And um, I don't make the units on this particular manager because there's no way that I would want to make a unit on this like that would be so uncomfortable and just so like it just wouldn't work out I use a wig blockhead but to style them and wash them I always use these mannequins right here so for as far as making wigs I don't use styrofoam heads I use an actual wig blockhead so she has um, some highlights in her hair, as you can see right here. I only put the highlights in the front um, where the frontal was. That was it. And I left the back just plain. I wanted to do something different, you know, a little bit of color right here in the front and then the rest just regular natural color. So what I used to highlight her hair was this right here, which is the dark and lovely box dye. And this is in the color Luminous Blonde in 396. It's actually a really good dye. And it is a bleach dye. It's about $4 at your local Walmart, $4.97 at your local Walmart. Walmart. and it does come with a envelope inside of it which has powder in it which is actually bleach and also does come with the color and the developer so definitely I love to use box dyes to like dye the hair I mean you can't really get outrageous with colors you're not gonna get white or blonde it's definitely not gonna get this color especially when it's a dark color if you're ever trying to achieve this color on dark hair you're definitely going to have to process it several times so just keep that in mind you might want to just go with bleach just to alleviate the issue but for the most part this works really well I keep it on the hair for like an hour and a half to two hours it does not damage the hair and it also doesn't leave it brassy so I did curl it and I'm just gonna take out the curl um, pins So as you see, I did put some hairspray in there after I um, curled her. This is the hairspray that I always use. And just to keep and tame the flyaways, I did use this right here, which is the Cream of Nature Style and um, Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. And just put that in the hair. So that way it'll leave the hair looking nice and bouncy and it'll also alleviate the flyaways. So I'm going to go ahead and cut away the lace on this. I always tell you guys, small scissors. So 
So the unit does have combs in it as well as an elastic band that I sewed into the unit. And there is also a comb back here, just like if, um, a lace front from the store. Now I'm going to take my pressed powder and I'm just going to place that on the cap. Now we're going to go ahead and try her out. All right, my love, so let's go ahead and put this lace frontal on. So you know something really crazy? I really do like making the frontals now versus, I mean, I do like to make the closures still as well, but when I first made up my very first frontal, I was so nervous, um, and I had every right to be because it really didn't come out that great. And the second one that I made came out okay, and then the third one didn't come out that great either. So it definitely is with trial and error, and I'm glad that I finally found the right technique to get these babies to fit right. You know what I'm saying? So it makes wig making a lot easier. Now as for 360s, I do make those too, but I'm not like a huge fan of them in general. But I really do like to make like the frontals and definitely the closures. So this curls in this wig is definitely bouncy and it all has to do with me leaving those um, wig clips in them or hairpins or hairpin clips, whatever you want to call them. Um, it will leave the curls bouncy. So I did curl this wig in the same day that you see me doing the video. And I just left the wig clips in them for like a couple hours and the hair became really bouncy so the curls helped. So as you see what I'm doing here is I'm taking the hairs from the wigs and I'm just going to use some of this lot of body styling or wrapping mousse. I didn't really have too much more left of the cream of nature styling mousse. And to me honestly wrapping mousse, styling mousse, it's all the same. It foams up, you know what I'm saying? It does the job. So I'm just going to take some of the hairs from the actual wig and I'm just going to brush it down. I really don't like to take too many of the wig hairs because I just don't like all that gel and stuff on the actual wig. For my own self, it's not too big of a deal. That's why I always have some of my baby hairs down so that way when I do want to brush some of the wig baby hairs down or the wig hairs I don't really need much you know what I'm saying so I just put a little bit of curvage in it at one time I really was not feeling baby hairs but for the most part I do like them now the gel that I'm using is the eco styling gel I'm not like a huge fan of it because for one it really doesn't hold my hair down that's the reason why you always see me using uh, gorilla gel because eco styling gel does not hold my hair in place at all so I only use it to kind of like start any type of baby hairs and then I'll go over the baby hairs with like the Gorilla Gel. But for the purpose of this video, being that I already have gel on my head, I'm just going to use the Eco Styling Gel with one of my favorite toothbrushes. The hair is really nice. I do like the style and you know, it's very fall like. It's not a lot of hair. It's very natural looking and realistic. And hey, like I said, all run, they've been around since 1995. So you can definitely check them out. But yeah, you guys, let me know what you think of this unit, how it turned out. I'm feeling myself like for real. Hiked up the front, gave myself like a little, you know, whatever style, cute honeys. And the back, I left it in its natural state of color. All right, you guys, yes, okay. I really like the way this came out. Even though it's just dark all around here, I really do like the way it came out. And this hump right here is actually my braid. I need to take my hair down and flatten it out, but yeah. But it came out super cute. Like, I like the way it came out. Like, I just tried to do something totally different, you know what I'm saying? So, it does go over, like, because it is part of the front, so you will pull it over the front in the back so it does have a little bit of the brown over in the back because that's still the front so you want to definitely hide where the sewing is at but the hair is nice like it's some really nice hair I've never heard of all run but apparently they've been around and they had a nice long run on AliExpress they have been around for quite some time 1995 so definitely check them out but the hair is really soft um it is their straight hair and it came or body wave hair and it came out really nice. I just washed it and let it dry on a mannequin head. You know, Roxy had it on her head and she just allowed it to dry. And then I just styled it as it was. I just went ahead with a huge brow curler and just did some big curls in it because I really wasn't in the mood. It seems like when I'm not in the mood to curl hair, that's when it comes out the best. But when I'm in the mood, it don't come out that great. So I'm saying maybe I should just not be in the mood all the time and just do hair. But then that would probably really make me not in the mood. 
who even knows but I didn't cut it I didn't I used every last every last bit of the hair like every last bit I mean like okay two inches was left so that's really nothing I used every last bit only three bundles because it's a frontal so you really don't need that much but it came out really nice I like the way it came out it's a pretty full color and I like the way I curled it which was really easy definitely you want to use some hairspray and just hike it up like that for a few hours or like a couple hours it'll definitely work but yes so I hope you guys enjoyed this video you can definitely check out all run did the hair shed I know you guys want to know that well of course it all does shed so when I was washing it it did shed when I was washing it and it wasn't like excessive shedding all I um, did was tweeze the hairline of this unit because I definitely wanted to make it realistic and I did cut some of the hairs on the side of the frontal to give us some baby hairs so other than that you know it really wasn't anything major it did stand up to the hair coloring dye which was this hair and this is the luminous blonde by dark and lovely you can definitely also use ginger spice by cream of nature if you want this color but this is um um it, it would have gotten lighter than this but i didn't leave it on that long normally i'll leave it on longer um and it's actually not even all just the luminous blonde it's um the honey blonde also from dark and lovely because i was in the process of doing another wig and so i had some left so i kind of like mixed them both back and forth so it's kind of like different highlights in it but super easy how to do this i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up because you love me so much all the details will be in the video description box below and i will see you guys on the soon to come video